I'm Elizabeth Kilmartin. I'm a highly specialist speech and language therapist working with children and young people with deafness for the Northern Care Alliance NHS Foundation Trust. Now, this poster outlines my journey as a pre-doctoral fellow. I started at a point where I had 20 plus years of clinical experience, but I had a desire to undertake some formal academic learning. I reflected upon gaps in clinical practice and meeting the needs of deaf children from South Asian backgrounds whose families use languages other than English. Now for these deaf multilingual children who made a significant proportion of my caseload, there were barriers occurring where these children were taught English but not family languages and this really affected uh, family relationships. Uh, for professionals, there's little research evidence to support clinical practice and the workforce is mainly part of the cultural and linguistic majority. So for the research um, project developed as part of this fellowship, I wanted to understand what are the experiences of families and deaf multilingual children when developing language in the early years? What are barriers and facilitators for parents and how can we support professionals? I needed to undertake a lot of learning um, as part of the fellowship. I used funding to uh, access a research design unit from Manchester University and an introduction to ethno ethnographic research methods from the University of Aberdeen. Alongside this formal learning, I accessed study support from the, NIH, uh, from the University of Manchester and research development from the NIHR. I shadowed researchers, but a key was the ongoing supervision sessions with my pre-doc supervisors. So now I've come to the end of the fellowship. I have a number of outputs which I'm quite proud of. I um, produced, we've produced a research proposal intended for doctoral fellowship application. Um, I was part of a submission for research tender alongside my supervisors for the National Deaf Children's Society, uh, which was unsuccessful, but this is all part of the learning process. I spent uh, time developing and undertaking an audit of practitioners working with deaf multilingual children. And the results were presented in forums that reflected the cross-sectional impact of the audit, including the British Cochlear Implant Group Conference, a publication in a cochlear implant uh, parent uh, organisation newsletter, an international conference, the Bilingualism Matters Research Symposium, and also the Royal College of Speech and Language Therapists Conference. So whilst they were personal achievements, my fellowship has really also impacted the service I work in as a whole. I've developed new clinical pathways for bilingualism, addressed inequities in our service delivery. I've led on clinical standards and training for colleagues in bilingualism. And as well as uh, being a role model, I've raised the profile of our team uh, through increased networks and conference presentations. But that's not the end for me. I'm, the journey does continue. I'm working with my supervisors um, on a systematic review, which is registered on Prospero and will seek to pub publish. And we want to understand what are the barriers and facilitators affecting listening, speech and language outcomes for deaf multilingual children. I'll also be working on a proposal for the Consortium of Research in Deaf Education to extend their annual national data collection to better support deaf multilingual children. And I've recently been invited to publish guidance on uh, service delivery and clinical care for deaf multilingual children on the Royal College of Speech and Language Therapists website. And unfortunately, a change in personal circumstances as means I won't be um, able to um, apply for doctoral fellowship as planned, but this is certainly on the cards for the future. 
Um, I would really like to thank my supervisors, Dr. Jan Owens and Dr. Paul Conroy, who um, without their support um, and ongoing uh, motivation, this all wouldn't have been possible. Thank you.